Imagine this. You're flying on a plane at 900 kilometers per hour, 10,000 meters above the Earth. You eat snacks, watch a movie, maybe take a nap. It feels totally normal. But here's the twist. While you're relaxing at cruising altitude, time is actually passing slower for you than for someone standing still on the ground. No, really. You are aging just a tiny bit slower. It sounds like science fiction, but it's a very real, very measurable effect. The kind of thing that GPS satellites have to account for, or they'd give us the wrong location by kilometers. So how does flying in a plane turn you into a time traveler, even if it's just by a few billionths of a second? Let's break it down. First, time isn't fixed. We tend to think of it like a universal clock ticking away in the background. Steady, absolute, unchangeable. But that's not how nature works. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, time is flexible, it stretches, it bends. It flows at different speeds depending on how fast you're moving and how close you are to a source of gravity. The faster you go, the slower time ticks for you. From the perspective of someone who's standing still, this idea sounds wild, but it's been tested over and over again. One of the most famous experiments involved two atomic clocks. One stayed on Earth, the other flew around the planet on a jet. When they reunited, they were out of sync. Just a little. But enough to prove that time had literally ticked slower for the clock in motion. So when you're on that plane soaring through the sky, you're not just going somewhere geographically. You're also taking the tiniest detour through time. Not enough to notice, not enough to skip dinner, but enough to remind us that time is not a universal constant. It's a feature of the fabric of space itself, and planes give us a way to peel back the curtain and glimpse how it actually works. To make this mind-bending idea easier to grasp, let's use a simple metaphor. Imagine time as a giant vinyl record. Each groove is a moment in time, and your life's needle moves along it, playing your story. Now, here's the twist. If you move that needle faster across the surface, something strange happens. The music, or in this case, time, doesn't quite play at the same speed. That's what Einstein discovered with his theory of special relativity. According to this theory, the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time, relative to someone standing still. This is not a poetic idea. It's a measurable fact of the universe. In physics, we call it time dilation. When you're flying in an airplane, you're traveling fast enough that your personal clock ticks just a little bit slower than a clock on the ground. Still sounds abstract? Let's add some numbers. A commercial jet flies at roughly 900 kilometers per hour. That's fast, but not even close to the speed of light, which is around 1.08 billion kilometers per hour. At airplane speeds, the difference is minuscule. About a few nanoseconds for every few hours of flight. That's billionths of a second. <sighs> but our instruments are precise enough to measure it. And this isn't just theory. Uh, scientists have tested it again and again with atomic clocks. Some of the most accurate timekeeping devices ever built. They've flown these clocks on airplanes, placed them on mountaintops, even sent them into orbit. In every case, clocks in motion or farther from Earth's gravity ticked differently than those at rest on the surface. Now, here comes the really fun part. There are actually two effects happening at once. One comes from motion. The faster you go, the slower your clock runs. This is called special relativity. But there's another effect from gravity, explained by general relativity. The farther you are from a gravitational source like Earth, the faster your clock runs. So when you're in a plane, you're moving fast, which slows your time. But you're also farther from Earth's center, which speeds it up. Which one wins? Surprisingly, at commercial airplane altitude and speed, the slowing effect from motion wins. Barely. So overall, your time ticks just a bit slower. You don't feel it. You don't notice it. But it's there. And it's proof that time is not fixed. It's fluid. It depends on how and where you exist in the universe. But if time moves slower in a plane, does that mean flying can actually make you younger? Well, technically, yes. But before you start booking round-the-world flights to cheat aging, let's look at the scale. In a typical long-haul flight, the time difference adds up to maybe a few nanoseconds. That's billionths of a second, far too small for your body or mind to even notice. Still, the idea that motion can stretch time is more than just a curiosity. It's a doorway into how the universe really works. Let's zoom out, way out. GPS satellites orbit Earth at thousands of kilometers per hour, and they're much farther from the planet's gravity. These two factors, speed and altitude, cause their clocks to tick differently from clocks on the ground. 
If engineers didn't account for both special and general relativity, your phone's location would be off by several kilometers every single day. So yes, time dilation isn't just real. It's something your phone fixes constantly without you ever realizing it. And here's another twist. Imagine two identical twins. One stays on Earth. The other gets on a spaceship, travels near the speed of light, and comes back. When they reunite, the traveler will have aged less. This is known as the twin paradox, and while it sounds like sci-fi, it's backed by hard physics. The faster you move, the more you stretch your journey through space, and the more you compress your journey through time. But let's ground this back in our plane. While you're sitting by the window, maybe sipping orange juice and watching clouds drift by, your body is aging just a touch slower than someone sitting at home on the couch. Not enough to change your life, but enough to change your perspective. Because what seems like an ordinary trip through the sky is, on a deeper level, a tiny experiment in Einstein's universe. And that's the real magic of science. It reveals that the extraordinary hides inside the ordinary. That a simple airplane ride is also a lesson in the nature of time and motion. You don't have to be an astronaut to experience relativity. You just need a boarding pass. So next time you're on a plane, look around. Everything feels normal. Your watch ticks like usual. Your heartbeat doesn't skip a beat, but hidden in the smooth hum of the engines and the steady drift of clouds outside, time is doing something subtle. It's stretching. It's adjusting itself to the way you're moving. It's following rules that seem invisible, yet govern every moment of your life. And that's the beauty of physics. It shows us that even the smallest, least noticeable things can reveal the deepest truths about reality. The slowing of time on an airplane isn't just a quirky side effect. It's evidence that time isn't rigid. It flows differently depending on where you are and how fast you're going. That insight, born from Einstein's imagination, now helps us navigate the world, synchronize our devices, and even dream of space travel. It reminds us that we're not just passengers on a plane. We're passengers in a universe where time and space bend, stretch, and dance together. You don't need a lab coat or equations to feel it. You just need curiosity. Because when you start asking, wait, how does that actually work? You've already taken the first step into a deeper understanding of the world. And if you enjoyed that journey into the hidden side of time, make sure to like the video, share it with someone who's ever stared out an airplane window, and subscribe to how it actually works. Because here we don't just explain science, we unlock it one wonder at a time.